I have patients who are on Viagra, Cialis, and testosterone, and for some reason they have to hide this from their spouse. And I ask them, why do you have to hide it? Uh, the answer that I get is because their spouse, and this is not the majority of uh, couples, but that in some instances, the spouse feels that if they find them sufficiently attractive and sufficiently interesting, they won't need these medicines. And perhaps they're uh, not being faithful in taking these medicines. And I'll tell men, and sometimes I'll talk to couples and say, listen, Mr. Smith is of a certain age with certain medical conditions, and this is a physiologic thing. It's a normal aging process. And it has nothing to do with whether he finds you attractive or not. Obviously, that's important. Uh, so obviously, we have lots of couples and lots of spouses are super supportive. But th for those, I'm speaking to those who have kind of suggested that these pills are necessary if the man finds their spouse sufficiently interesting and attractive. My answer is many men truly need these medicines to perform because it's a blood flow issue. There's not enough blood flow going there. So these medicines aren't, uh, are, are in fact necessary to take. And sometimes testosterone is necessary to take. So while there are men who don't find their spouse attractive and while there are men who aren't faithful, I guess my main message is there are many men of a certain age that actually need these medicines to perform and it is just a normal aging thing and it is not sufficient for many men just to find their spouse attractive in a faithful uh, monogamous relationship. I hope that helps.